Hey folks, welcome to a special edition of Shooting Up North. As heard right here on the Impact Lounge, I'm your host, Lewis Carlin, and wow, just wow, it's official. It is official. Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, the Good Brothers, are signed to Impact Wrestling, was made official last night. They did their little video where they made the announcement inside an Impact Wrestling ring. This is just fantastic news. I know the rumors are out there. Some people are thinking that they might go to AEW uh, because of the picture that they posted with them and the Young Bucks. Um, people were reporting that they signed with Impact Wrestling and nobody was quite sure. I, 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 I felt certain that they were going to Impact Wrestling and I was right. And they are officially with Impact Wrestling. It's all over social media now. So happy, so happy that that's out of the way, that we know that Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, one of the best tag teams in the world, are now officially a part of Impact Wrestling. I I read that, there, um, that the contract is for two years. I don't know if that's official or not, but uh, that that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm reading, that the, the contract is for two years. Again, fantastic news. So I think it's a foregone conclusion that tonight that they will be in the ring with Josh Alexander and Ethan Page, and they will have a little face-off in the ring. And, you know, I I wouldn't be surprised if the Good Brothers show up and, and they want to be a part of that tag team match. And the match becomes a three-way match for the Impact Wrestling Tag Team titles. That, that I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Uh, but the one thing I'm, I'm certain about, and I know I touched upon this, I, I really don't think that they're going to be the mystery opponents for the Rascals. I think that's going to be the Motor City Machine Guns or Rhino and Heath Slater. I know a lot of people on social media are saying, oh, well, it's going to be the Good Brothers are going to be the mystery opponents. I don't, I don't think they're going to be the mystery opponents. I don't think they're, they're um, coming to Impact Wrestling to go after the Rascals. Uh, they're coming to Impact Wrestling, and they're going to, be, they're going to, they're going to have them go right after the North, I believe, um, just about right away. Uh, so we should see a feud between um, but the North and the Good Brothers, and I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be fantastic. That's going to be fantastic. I actually spoke with Josh Alexander uh, yesterday uh, before the announcement was made that that um, Gallows and Anderson were signed, and I was uh, I was trying to get it out of Josh Alexander on who might be showing up, but um, he he uh, he couldn't let the cat out of the bag, and rightfully and, and understandably so. It's, I, I pressed him a little bit, but I didn't want to press him too much because you know I don't I don't want him seeing me in person and, and uh, hitting me with uh, with um, <laughs> the power bomb to the knee. Uh, so I, I kind of left it alone, uh, but. Um, Fantastic news, fantastic news. And you would think, you would think that you know, the Good Brothers coming to Impact Wrestling, everybody would be excited. Most people are. Most people are, but there are still a few people out there. Still a few people out there that are not happy that, that the Gallows and Anderson are coming to Impact Wrestling. A lot of people out there are, are a little disappointed that they're not going to AEW. And, and there's been a really, there's been a couple of... Um, Really stupid comments made. And you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to discuss them. Let's discuss the stupid comments that were made. So one dumb comment was made on Twitter. And uh, this guy says, To be fair, most people don't even know impacting still exists because it sucks. This is clearly somebody who's, one, not watching Impact Wrestling. Two, doesn't realize that millions upon millions of people around the world know what Impact Wrestling is. The YouTube channel has 3.55 million subscribers. So 3.55 million people basically know what Impact Wrestling is. So this guy doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. And he shouldn't be making comments if he doesn't know what he's talking about. So that that's that comment. There's another comment made. Um, and someone goes, yeah, uh, people don't know what Impact Wrestling is uh, because they want to forget about it because of the Hogan, Bischoff, Dixie, and Russo era. Come on, man. You, you're, going back, you're going back to a couple of years from now. It's just another stupid comment. You know, watch what's going on now. If you weren't a fan of it then, watch what's going on now. Don't say, oh, I, I want to forget about it because of what Hogan did. Well, you know, I want to forget about the WWE because, um, because of uh, Bastion Booger. Bastion Booger, um, decades ago, was in the WWE, so I, I want to forget about them. Uh, I, I think it's uh, WWE is, is horrible because of Bastion Booger. There you go. Okay, so that 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 answers his question. Another, um, let's find another. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Um, what a waste. Good for them getting money, but whatever. Nobody will ever care about Impact. <laughs> 
<laughs> he gets me riled up, man. And he says, good job, Tony Khan, being outbid by a company who runs, uh, who runs on uh, TV, on QVC, or whatever. Jeez, man. My God, people are so, so such hot under the collar that, that, that Gallows and Anderson had the audacity to choose Impact Wrestling over AEW. My goodness. It's just it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So many AEW fans out there think that uh, that it's wrong that it's wrong that they signed with Impact Wrestling and and uh, not AEW like like this guy. You know they they seem to let me let me ask a question. Who knows what's best for Gallows and Anderson? Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, or or some middle aged. Some middle-aged AEW fan who has 32 followers on Twitter who's upset that their his mom won't make him fish sticks for for dinner. Uh, so who who do you think uh, knows what's um, what's best for for Gallows and Anderson? You you tell me. I, personally, I think it's it's Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson know what's best for Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. You know, and and a lot of people are saying, uh, some of the people are saying that. Oh, I wish they would have gone to New Japan Pro Wrestling. They are, they are going to New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, once they're able to go there, uh, they're they're expected to sign a contract in New Japan Pro Wrestling, but use Impact Wrestling as their as their home base. So anyone that's that's all up in arms right now, AEW fans, you know, whining like a little baby, saying uh, they should have went to AEW. Not everybody wants to go to AEW. And why don't we just let the wrestlers decide where they want to go? Well, let, let them pick what, what they think is the best situation for them and maybe just, you know, stay off Twitter, stay so, stay off social media and uh, and worry about maybe um, heading outside and uh, getting a breath of fresh air and, and maybe meeting some people. How about that? Maybe meeting some people. Uh, but um, anyway, but again, I just want to go back. Uh, great news. Uh, so happy that... Uh, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson are officially with Impact Wrestling. I'm so stoked about it. I can't wait for Slammiversary. There's got to be so many more surprises. And uh, that's another thing. A lot of, uh, there are people out there that are upset that the, the surprise was given away. But but they got to remember that there are pay-per-view uh, sales that need to be made. They're, they're looking for pay-per-view buys. So I think it's a smart move uh, to announce that. Callows and Anderson are with Impact Wrestling. I think it's going to increase the pay-per-view buys now because uh, I am seeing on social media uh, that people are excited about this and they're saying now that they're going to buy the pay-per-view. And don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. While I, I read a couple of negative comments, the majority of the comments are positive. Uh, I would say I would say 98% of the comments are positive for Impact Wrestling. Just this 2% are negative that um, you know, I want to call out a few, which uh, which I which I like to do, as we all know. Uh, but a um, lot more surprises uh, coming up um, for, for Slammiversary. Uh, again, totally expecting EC3 to show up. I'm sure we'll see Eric Young there. Uh, I think the Motor City Machine Guns, like I said, um, will be um, will be there, and uh, Heath Slater as well. So lots and lots of surprises at Slammiversary, and it's just. Um, Less than, uh, it's like uh, less than 11 hours away. Less than 11 hours away, and I can't wait. I can't wait. So on that note, I want to say thank you very much for listening to uh, this special edition of Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin, and until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.